is gravity the therapist? So the amazing Dr. Ida P. Rolf, who, for, after whom Rolfing and structural integration is named, made that statement, gravity is the therapist. And folks have been scratching their head thinking about it ever since, including me. I trained as a certified Rolfer back in the early 90s. I haven't practiced for decades, but I sort of stand on the shoulders of what I learned back then and pondered the notion of gravity as a therapist for many years. And I came to a slightly different conclusion when I started looking into visceral uh, studies, visceral manipulation, the work of Jean-Pierre Barral. Uh, Jean-Pierre Barral uh, is a French osteopath and has done some amazing work um, helping people to learn how to work with the position of viscera to facilitate people's health. So Dr. Ida Rolf, Jean-Pierre Barral, these are all, all heroes of mine. So on the question of gravity though, when I looked into Baral's work, I learned about pressure, pressure differentials in the viscera. This is very interesting. So if we say the pelvis has 20 centimeters of H2O of pressure, and the abdomen has say 15, and the thorax zero, then we see that pressure differentials are moving from high to lower, to the lowest in our visceral spaces and that our body, we as bipeds, are organized with our visceral spaces stacked one on top of the other with the highest pressure down here and the lowest pressure up here. And that means that the pelvic organs are migrating, right, from the pressure. High pressure moves into low pressure zone. Ask your weatherman. So high pressure moving into low pressure, our pelvic organs have a natural propensity to rise up towards the abdomen. And the abdominal organs have a natural propensity to rise up into the thorax. That's why your diaphragm is dome-shaped. Look, at here's the diaphragm. And it has two domes on either side, one filled with the liver, one filled with the stomach and the spleen, as those organs are, are rising up from the pressure differential towards the low pressure zone of the thorax. And the diaphragm intervening between them keeps your liver from popping out your mouth because that's kind of what it wants to do. It's in a high pressure zone, wants to move into the low pressure zone and out into the atmosphere, but it doesn't because of the resistance of the diaphragm. So what it, so let's draw that for just, for starters. Here's our pelvis, here's our abdominal space, here's our thorax, here's zero centimeters of H2O. Here's, uh, what did I say, 15 centimeters. Here's 20 centimeters, which is just the, the, the measuring agent of pressure, right? So here's levity, folks. So I'm going to call that levity. That's the propensity of things actually to go up when they're organized high pressure to low pressure. And it's an incredible sense of lift that you get. So I was always trying to help people feel that sense of lift, the same sense of lift I got when I went through my, uh, my Rolfing series and moved from something like like this uh, into something like this. And I felt an incredible lightness of being in my body. It literally makes you laugh like levity, right? So what if that's not the case? We've got our high pressure here. And what if our abdomen is kind of leaning forward this way? And let's toss our thorax down here, right? And we have more of an alignment like this. Well, then we're going to have gravity moving through here, driving us to the grave. OK, so when we're out of alignment, the alignment of our visceral spaces, one atop another, the world feels heavy, right? Where our neck is, our head is like a bowling ball and our, our chest is not lined up over the abdomen. So we don't feel light, we feel heavy, we feel grief, we feel, right? We feel sorrow, we feel contracted. And so these are, uh, our posture literally affects our emotional life and vice versa, right? So if we're out of alignment, we're like, oh, life is hard. And if we're in alignment, we're like, yeah, I think I can do this. So it's, it's uh, very impactful that way. And it's one of the teachings that I loved from, from uh, the Rolfing training from Ida Rolf was her belief that in facilitating lift in people, they would feel better. They would feel even like moving in, in, in an evolutionary direction for their own person, uh, helping a person to be and feel more mature at a level. So is gravity the therapist? Well, maybe. Is levity the therapist? Maybe, maybe they're both, right, uh, uh, working together to create this sense of, of uh, heaven and earth and the human body as a, as a biped on it, spanning between the two. So, uh, 
Give it a shot and see how it feels. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.